recording. Yes, lovely. Right, thought I'd do a quick channel update. As soon as I sort of popped up, made a couple of videos, and then disappeared again. Uh, <laughs> I am currently uh, fishing on my syndicate, so I can't show you anything at all because it's totally non-publicity. Um, but I thought I would tell you what's going on. I've got two weeks of work left and then I am off for minimum four months. Um, now I've got various sort of places I want to fish that are challenging. So this Lake Mon is pretty hard. It's done, <laughs> it's done a couple of two fish. Uh, since November as far as I know um, I fished it in November and I lost one first session and then I've done probably 10 nights on here since uh, and not caught um, I'm also fishing another um, I'm fishing the Thames. Um, I don't know what to do about that, video-wise. So lots of blanks. Obviously, I I am going fishing. I'm not catching a lot. Uh, I'm I'm not making many videos. I've done a few. I've done a few. So I've done the intros and then blanked, um, or not caught anything interesting. So. You know, they, they just don't make it off the cutting room floor. Uh, you know, I want to severely limit the amount of blanking videos that happen, unless they're, I, I judge them to be entertaining, essentially. Um, so what that means is, when I've finished work, and I've got a lot of time on my hands, I'll be flitting around a fair bit. I'll be coming and baiting certain venues, what the hard, what the harder venues where I need to kind of gather up some uh, information. Um, but I may not necessarily be spending a lot of time on them. Like the river, for example, I might be baiting four spots. And I, I'm only going to go there and fish if I, if I see activity. Or I might do one night a week there or something. Um, this, this place you've got to book on, so it's a pain in the ass. <coughs> But I can come down on my bike and bait, bait a few spots here as well. But this is a case of like you book on and you get your 24 hours and or 48 or whatever you book. Um, but there's strictly no publicity here, so I won't be filming here at all anyway. Um, even doing this, what I'm doing now, is kind of naughty. Um, but not exactly giving the game away. Um, <clears throat> so, in between those things, my my plan is to go roach fishing, for example, on the river. Go and do a bit of float fishing for tench. Uh, I've got a few n nice little venues where I, I can go and get a bite. It might be carp fishing, you know fishing for carp on the waggler or something even it's going to save like on floaters but I can't stand float fishing it's so bloody I find it so um, it's too exciting <laughs> basically I go fishing to, to for the most part relax um, or to kind of get in the zone you know I can get in the zone with roach fishing, you can relax float fishing for tench 
but sort of stalking and float fishing for carp and all that, I, I, I can't stand it. Uh, <laughs> um, it I'm, I'm maybe, maybe, I haven't got the right constitution for it. Um, you never know, that might change. That might change. Um, but yeah, so I'll be flitting around and, and sort of trying, if, I, if I've got time, to get a, at least one video out a week um, where I catch something. Uh, I do have a, obviously I've got a home to maintain, um, I've got bait to roll, I've got fish venues I have to bait, I want to do quite a bit of cycling but that's, that'll be tied in with the baiting up. Um, but yeah, I want to get properly fit again. Um, I have a girlfriend who lives on the other side of London that I have to entertain from time to time. So I think I'll probably end up... Probably, I might, I might start fishing Sunday nights. Um, when everyone's gone home, sort of thing. And then I can spend the weekend with my girlfriend. Um, at the moment I'm I'm seeing her a bit in the week and then a bit at the weekend. Um, and I think it would probably be better for us to spend a whole weekend together say. And then I can go off fishing when we get home on the Sunday Sunday night um, if we go to the beach or, or whatever uh, so yeah that's my sort of plan if you like um, I've also got to fit in holidays birthdays and I've got Quite a few people that um, have asked me to join them fishing um, on various places, so I've got to fit that in as well. Um, my mate Gary, he's flying over very soon, actually, um, from Arizona. He does it. He comes over every year, and we have a fish. Um, so I'll probably I'll probably film Gary when he's over. I've always found I've always found my filming to be a bit of a bit of a private affair. But um, if he's up for it and doesn't mind being on camera, then and I'll film that. And and also some of the other um, people I'm going to meet up and go fishing with. Um, I may well do some filming there. For example, my mate John, he came down the other week and we did four nights tench fishing. Didn't catch a lot. <laughs> so, uh, so that never really got going, that one. Um, yeah, we fished uh, a mate's lake and we both blanked there. And then we went and fished a little, nice little picturesque lake. Um, John had a couple, but they weren't big, you know, sort of three, three pound or so. I caught one, that was about six pound, but pfft, it basically did, didn't turn into a video, that one. Um, I caught, I caught, he caught his at night, I didn't know about them, he was on the other side of the lake. I caught mine at God knows what time in the morning, and um, I don't know, there's something about a tench at night that doesn't really motivate me to get the video recorder out and, um, and make a video really. It's much more, tench just much more interesting if you're catching them on the pole or the float or whatever, aren't they? You know, you can watch watch the fight and it's a bit more it's just a bit more interesting 
isn't it? Then going, oh, I've got one. Here it is on the mat. Put it back. Um, definitely want to get on the get on the river again. Do some waggler fishing for the roach. Um, I'd like to target a tench in the canal. Uh, that'd be a good one. That'd be a nice little early morning thing. Get up early, whiz down the canal, get set up, fish for two or three hours maybe um, before the boats get going. So I, I, I'm going to try and do lots of sort of smaller, shorter videos like that. I might, you know, I might, for another example, I might go down the canal of an evening, fish hemp. It was really good. I was trying to think the last did it last year yep yeah. couple of years ago went down I went down after work caught 20 pound of roach on hemp so that made a good video because hemp fishing is kind of it's a bit of a sort of specialist thing really so being able to show people who aren't au fait with it how you do it um, would be quite good. I've also had what have I had? Had somebody request some cruising videos. Um, I do know of a venue with that's recently been stocked with them. Lovely little place actually. Uh, it's on my club ticket, so I'll go down there and have a go at them. Got another little pond I know of where. I'm pretty sure there's some in there. I haven't, I haven't really fished it. Um, it's got a handful of carp in there. I'm pretty sure it's got crusions and tench in it. Um, but as I say, never gone down and actually had a proper go for them. So we've got that. Um, yeah, got some nice, nice little ponds that my club run. Mix one's a fairly mixed species pond. One's that one they've stocked the crusions in there. It's got crusions, tench. It's got some carp in there. Little, they don't look huge. Um, I think they're sort of single figure fish, but they look quite nice. I think they'd be quite pretty. Um, they're, cra they're pretty crafty. I had a go from last year and uh, yeah, they had the better of me. <laughs> um, but that's a beautiful little lake. It's lovely. And then they've got another lake. It's, it's, it's kind of on a little sort of complex thing, really. Um, which is much more sort of carp oriented. And I think they're they're sort of, um, I'm guessing, I mean, years ago they were the sort of match size carps. There, there's probably some doubles in there and stuff, mid doubles. I think they've stocked it again recently, so that I think that'd be a good little put space for um, just, just doing a bit of float fishing for them, really. Um, yeah, and there'll be a few little trips up and down the country, I suspect. The canals around here, since the form seems to have dropped off over the last probably four years. About five, about four or five years ago, they were really good. Loads of fish. And then seem to be less and less and less of them um, so I don't know whether they're getting they're in they might be at a low slump in their sort of population cycle they might be getting mashed up by cormorants and otters and things I don't really know So we'll see, see, see how that pans out. Um, come 
come sort of October, November, I will probably start roach fishing a lot more, actually. I, I mainly carp fish the whole of the winter this year, although I didn't go a lot. Um, I was down here a fair bit, just trying to just trying to learn the venue a little bit really um, which when you're not catching or seeing anything it's, it's a little bit limited I mean all information in fishing is good and useful um, but yeah just locating a few gravel bars and what not in a few swims was you know, it was, it was a limited use. Might do a bit of sea fishing. Uh, Mum and Dad live down the coast. Of course, I have got some sea fishing gear. It's all very shiny and unused. Um, but yeah, I might just pop down, see them for a long weekend or whatever, and actually have the chance to take a rod. Normally my visits to them are pretty rushed. I kind of drive up Saturday morning, go out for the day, have dinner, quite often drive home again. Um, it's been quite rare that we've even stayed overnight there. Um, but that would be a nice thing to do. Although they're perennial travellers. <laughs> so they're, they're on holiday pretty much constantly um, they've got a boat they've got a caravan they've got and they do a lot of foreign travel as well um, and they really enjoy that so I have to sort of squeeze them in somewhere but yeah if I go down and see them I might I might just go down on my own and and uh, you know, grab a bit of ragworm and whatever and have a go off the beach. Really looking forward to finishing work now. It's a really beautiful venue, but God, I wish I'd yeah, we'll catch something from it. So yeah, that's kind of where where I'm at. I haven't disappeared. I haven't. Uh, nothing untoward has happened to me or anything like that. Bugging my Rolex. <coughs> I'm I'm well. Um, but busy and blanking, so that's why the video is kind of ground to a halt. So I probably have four intros that never made it to made it to uh, an edit. All right, I think that'll do for now. You're all up to date. Um, oh yeah, and another thing, um, some of you probably know I roll my own bait, um, so I'm intending to do some videos about that. Now, <clears throat> that won't be for everyone, um, understandably. I think most of my viewers are, tend to be sort of general course anglers rather than carp specialists and things. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing a hell of a lot of bait prep because um, the amount of bait that I'll be putting in the river this year is going to be pretty, pretty epic. Um, it's a big place. The bit I fish doesn't have a lot of carp in, really. 
um, and then you've got all the other roach and the bream that wipe everything out so I'll be rolling boilies, prepping particles all that sort of thing so might do a few videos on that um, I think I think the boily videos might actually capture a, a kind of different audience I've, I've done one before and that was quite popular um, and it's kind of new viewers if you like um, I'm no bait expert uh, compared to some people um, it can get very uh, um, scientific and complicated my interest in it is um, limited although I do know how to roll quality bait uh, and I do know the properties of various ingredients so I can perhaps show a little bit of that stuff talk about some of the suppliers and um, then show you how to construct a, a sort of bait recipe from scratch and all that sort of stuff um, oh, a little baby tiny ducks there unfortunately I can't show you so I'm not allowed to film this place that'll do for now it's me waffling on as usual I'll probably edit this down a bit um, but yeah I shall see you again soon